Hello YouTube, as I promised, let's turn our localhost into server because we need to do that if we want to see our PHP scripts running uh, as they need to run. So there are three options and we will choose only one, the best one for beginners. The first option is hard. Okay, so you first you need the web server and that's not enough. Then you need to MySQL if you want to connect to databases and then you need to install PHP individually. So you need to go to basically three websites and uh, in specific order to grab all those applications and set up, set up them. And there is a great chance that you will run screaming the first thing when you start doing this. So this is for more advanced users. So we will just script, uh, skip this option. Okay, you can do that and you will do that. Actually, I will create uh, dedicated tutorials for this, but that is not for beginners. Okay, you don't want to waste your time on server installation, you want to do PHP. Okay, so let's delete this option. Now, another, uh, well, relatively stupid option is to just pull, pull your credit card and buy hosting, and then start uploading to FTP server to web server through FTP server, uh, your PHP scripts. But honestly, I don't think that a lot of beginners know how to do this. So you will probably, you know, mess something up and you'll have problems with your internet connection. Maybe it's slow, maybe it's wireless that br breaks every couple of minutes. You, you need to set up directories and, and, and so on and so on. So I don't think that this is a good option for beginners. Okay, you can do that if you are, you know, stubborn and you want to pull your credit card, but I don't advise that yet. Okay, so the best option is to grab all in one solutions. That means that all these applications here, three of them have in them at minimum Apache plus MySQL plus PHP and many other things that are very necessary for creation of our websites. Okay, these things here are absolutely gorgeous. They are beautiful. They are very time savers and they will uh, lift from your backs that burden of messing around with uh, Apache and MySQL PHP individually. Okay, so let me pull my browser just a second. Right now, easy dev server. Uh, we're gonna use that. I'm gonna use that. You know, it's totally up to you. But for me, I just get used to it. You know, uh, it didn't create me uh, problems, so I just stick to it. Okay. So the official website is Easy PHP, and they have uh, two options here. Uh, dev server if, if you're a programmer and if you want to serve your uh, website that's already done that's a web server okay so uh, you need to go right here if you're using windows click here and then you're on this page and you can click here to get your easy php setup and if you don't then automatically that thing will start downloading okay but i already have that on my desktop so we are good okay but if you want to use something else you can go to XAMPP and same thing as easy dev a lot of options a lot of help a combination of apache and maria D database basically similar stuff to mysql let's use that term for beginners and you have not just php you have a pearl some people you know they get used to this but you know i will just go with uh, easy php so that's Second option, right. Now, third option, it's also very popular on, on internet all over the place is WAMP server. Now, uh, the same thing as uh, both of those versions, but you know, in, in its own way, it will get the job done for you basically. So at the end of the day, it doesn't, it, it's not important what option you choose here, it will work, it will get the jobs up. Don't, so don't push yourself. And you know what, over time, you're gonna probably uh, experiment with three of them anyway. Right, so you can just go to download section and down there you have a uh, WAMP server, server for 64-bit and 32-bit machines. So don't worry too much about this, okay? You'll be pretty much fine with any you choose. But I will go with easy uh, PHP, okay? So yeah, let's clear airspace here. Okay, so leave this as it is. I mean, I will leave it and let's start with installation. We don't need this at the moment. Okay, let's get out. Okay, let's just reposition this icon a little bit. I mean, setup file. So here's the thing. Do not run this file as a normal user. You must run it as admin if you wanna get into control panel of this application. Okay, so right click and run as admin. Okay. 
and click on yes when Windows asks you. So let's choose uh, languages, English. And let's choose location. So it's up to you what you're gonna do, but I will just leave it as it's here. Okay, so next. Create a desktop e icon, that's fine. Install and I will probably cut this video a little bit, pause it because I don't wanna waste your time. So see in a second. Okay, so we are done. Now, next thing, do not press finish here, okay? I don't want you to launch your uh, server immediately because you need to do that as admin, okay? So let's just deselect this and click on finish, okay? And now uh, let's go and run this uh, icon as an admin, okay? Because if you don't do that, probably you will run into some kind of issues with privileges and so on. So run as admin, click on yes when Windows asks you, and that's pretty much it. Now, please note that in your lower right corner, you have a new icon. I'm just gonna grab this with MS Paint. So in when you click on that icon, I don't know, left click, right click, whatever, you have these options. So when you click on open dashboard, you will get into control, control panel of your server. And when you click on server, you have a couple of options to start or stop all your servers just HTTP server or just MySQL database. Okay, that's something you need to know. Okay, so let's get out of this beautiful art. Okay, don't say, and let's get into our browser. Right, so the moment when you type local cost here, which means you're trying to access your system, what you're gonna get is this site cannot be reached. Now, when you activate your web server, first you need to get into dashboard. So either you can do this, uh, do that into typing on a, on icon, uh, right click and then on open dashboard, or you can just click here, local host and type 1111. That means that you are accessing control panel of your server. So let me wait for that. Okay, and we are in. So there are two, two ways. Either you can directly click it here uh, or just go down there into your uh, lower right corner and grab open dashboard option. Okay, so the things we have here, the most important ones are option to run or stop HTTP server and database server, MySQL. And down there, what is interesting that uh, you have modules that are not activated at the moment and they are dedicated for database. But don't worry about that. You're gonna learn that in uh, one of the next playlists. Uh, I, yeah, I have a MySQL playlist right now on my channel. Anyway, look, don't torture yourself with modules and databases and so on. We are just uh, learning PHP here. So now click on HTTP server and you will start serving, well, your web page. So let's do that, start. And let's see what's up in a split of a second. Yep, so when this is red, that means that server is uh, running. So if you wanna kill it, just press here on stop and that's it. Anyway, let's go to our server, but we will not use four of ones here. We don't wanna access our dashboard. We have that right here. What we wanna do is to get to our basically website. So when you type local cost and you are in. So of course you will not see any kind of pages. We didn't create anything. We have just uh, default uh, production PHP page, the simple stuff, when you click on it, you will get PHP information. I mean, information about system, basically. Right, so this is these are the, the characteristic of my system. And you have a lot of stuff here. You really don't need to know this and we will not even try to remember these days. They are not totally necessary, okay? But now what we wanna do is we will get into place where we have this PHP info file, we're gonna delete it and we will create index of our future website and two of them, index.html, just to, to practice for a second and then index.php because there is a difference. Okay, so let me do that. Let me pull Explorer up here. Okay, so I'm in program files, right? And uh, here is dev server, let's get in. Now the thing we need here, the place where we will put all our pages is this one, EDS www. This is like, a, this is like a root of your real website. All these 
things here are basically helpers, things that will help you to get the job done. But this is the place where we have those pages. So the moment when we delete this PHP info uh, file, okay, let's do that. Now when we run this, we will get into error because there is no that file. And if we remove this file from our path, we will get into just you know, a uh, basic listing. There is nothing here. So let's create here one simple index.html page. So let's do that. I'm going to open Atom and it's totally up to you uh, what kind of uh, editor you will use. So let me see. Uh, okay, so file and I will go to add project folder and uh, where I was. C and uh, program files. Okay, don't forget um, don't pay attention to this one. I was practicing and doing something. So this is not that installation. Our installation is uh, in program files and uh, easy PHP and easy, uh, sorry, EDS, www, select folder. And that's pretty much it. Okay, we have it. We have it right here. So of course, I mean, we, we don't have anything right here. Okay, see, so this is the reason uh, we don't have any kind of listing here. And this thing here is just some Python thing I was doing. So let's just basically delete it, remove project folder. Sorry about that. Welcome guide. We don't need that. Right. So let's create a new index file here, index.html. And if this is your first time running PHP, every time when you see index.html or index.php, that means that that file will be instantly activated uh, when user hits your website. So that's like default home page. Okay. Now let's press enter. And uh, the moment when you type here, I mean, when you save your file as .html, then syntax highlighting dedicated for HTML will be activated. So let's just test something with h1 uh, heading like um, test heading. Okay. And let's see will our uh, server will correctly send that to us. So where I was, let me see. Right. And now when I press refresh, I need to get that page. Okay, test heading. So that works. But that was for index.html. So let's turn that into PHP. Right. So let's actually save this as a file. Uh, where is it? Save as index.php php and let's save it and now the things are a little bit different so let's delete this one okay index.html uh, delete move to trash and now we are only left with this so let's check our uh, corrections basically our changes like uh, test page test php page because we want to see uh, will this work when you type dot php so let's save that and the result will be, sorry about that. Result will be that we have it. Okay. So we are sure that both of these extension works, but from now on we'll be focused on uh, PHP. So I think that's pretty much enough for, for one video. Thank you for watching and see you next tutorial where we will go further in PHP.